Take a look at these two bags. These both are kind of similar bags, same design, same quality, but the only difference is their price. The bag on the right might cost you more than 1,000 US dollars, while the bag on the left is retailed at $420. So, which one would you pick? The left one, of course. But wait, let me tell you the name of the brands they belong to. The bag on the right is Hermes, while the bag on the left belongs to some local company. But now, while this high-quality, durable handbag is available at just $420, some of you might want to spend thousands of dollars on Hermes luxury brand handbag that performs the same function and is of similar quality. Why? Just because it's a luxury brand. Speaking of luxury brands, some names might pop up in your mind like Christian Dior, Michael Kors, Balenciaga, Burberry, Rolex, etc. And many people differentiate luxury brands by their price, right? So. What is an actual definition of a luxury brand? What makes luxury goods so different from everyday consumer goods? A luxury brand is a label distinguished by high quality, pricey, and non-essential items and services that appear to be rare and a high price tag, obviously. Luxury brands are typically well-known and well-established, and they often have a long history. According to Fortune Business Insights, the luxury goods market in 2019 was worth 316.16 billion US dollars. It is expected to increase at a CAGR of 4.6% over the forecast period, reaching 352.84 billion US dollars in 2027. So, what makes a luxury brand so popular and irreplaceable? Luxury products always stand out. In fact, they also make you stand out. People buy luxury brands not merely for the raw materials, craftsmanship, and high quality, but because they want to communicate something about themselves. They want to advertise their economic status, their social status, and consumption does this rather well. Today, an expensive watch, an expensive automobile, and an expensive handbag today can tell others that we have wealth. And serving as a benchmark for success, it is each brand's aura of exclusivity which brings individuals a unique sense of gratification. Much like sipping on the finest glass of wine or slurping down a fresh oyster at the most luxurious restaurants, there's one inherent pleasure which links all Epicurean experiences, an opulent price tag. And this is very much the grounds on which the luxury industry operates. However, it is important to mention that the price tag in a handbag or a watch doesn't determine its quality. Most people believe that the high price of handbags is due to the use of genuine leather. However, when it comes to labels like Chanel or Louis Vuitton, you are simply paying for the name, since these are just status symbols. And the synonym for luxury products can be their high price. But there are handbags out there that are made of the similar quality of leather but are still cheap. In fact, the skill needed in the manufacturing of these handbags is easily replicated by random people in third world nations because it's not that expensive. But even with so many fake goods on the market, the rich continue to purchase pricey luxury items and luxury companies continue to thrive. And this raises a question that, what tactics do they use that the customers are not afraid to spend ridiculously insane amount of money to get it? Well, luxury brand identity relies on a number of factors, and you have to sell these factors to your customers just as much as the product itself. So, let's talk about the marketing strategies and some of the most important factors for the success of luxury brands. 1. Luxury of Rarity and Exclusivity One approach is that they focus on the luxury of rarity or the exclusivity of the product or service. This is usually done by ensuring that only a limited number of items are produced or by creating a waiting list for potential customers. Moreover, luxury goods are often not available in retail stores or online websites. They must be pre-ordered or sold at auction. This conveys the impression that they are difficult to obtain and will necessitate some effort on the part of the customer. For instance, a mass-market fashion business may stage an ad campaign in the heart of Berlin or 3D advertisements at Times Square, New York. Even its models may walk through the streets wearing clothes available in any store or website. So, this is simply a normal, everyday transaction. Luxury brands, on the other hand, strive to elevate a regular purchase to an extraordinary one. They attain this by increasing the distance between the client and the product. For instance, they enhance this sense of exclusivity in a variety of ways, including conducting private trunk presentations, making products available for a limited time, and distributing the product to select retailers. Like this Hermes Kelly bag, priced at $10,300. This bag is not available on stores or online, has to be pre-ordered. 2. 
Design Aesthetics Aesthetics define the overall design of the brand. Because customers want to associate with businesses that celebrate their own sophistication through good design and aesthetics, and the brand's message should be seen through its products. And luxury goods are so distinctive in their style, appearance, and characteristics that they become tempting to practically everyone. Moreover, the aesthetic a luxury brand presents communicates the quality underlying it. The look is created to set them apart in a distinctive way, and their desire to be unique and distinctive drives to consume brands that transmit a specific message, even at the risk of our cash balance. Therefore, customers instantly grab such designs that are aesthetically pleasing. 3. Timeless Classics Luxury manufacturers continually create products that can survive changing trends. The designs are timeless and classic in every way. The competition is strong as purchasing patterns gradually move to more online transactions. Customers are more discriminating than ever before, seeking staple, iconic goods. Luxury labels are deliberate in their approach in order to maintain the exclusive aspect that has distinguished them for decades, showcasing the pieces that will always be classics. Take a look at Chanel, for example. The brand's color palette is limited to black, white, and beige. These colors are timeless and exquisite, conveying a feeling of elegance while also adding a touch of luxury and refinement to the brand's products. 4. Creative Advertisements Another factor is the use of creative marketing. Luxury brand creative advertising tactics have proven to help luxury firms become noticed. Now, you might have seen this advertisement of Rolex Submariner. The watch and its qualities are exhibited in a very subtle way, and the most important of all, the price is not revealed in the advertisement. Apart from the advertisements in televisions and magazines, the Rolex company also sponsors gaming events. Gucci also uses memes, like this image, to better connect with millennials who like to share memes. This is one of those luxury advertisements of brand Versace, which depicts a long game of telephone in which models whisper down a line until, at the very end, we hear how the legendary fashion house's name should be pronounced. It's Versace, not Versace. While watching the ad, you can't help but admire Versace's style and the respect that's demanded when you hear its name at the end. It makes the audience feel exclusive and elevated. 5. Creating the Desire Luxury is about the extraordinary, which creates desire. It's about status and exclusivity. It's about how the brand makes you feel unique. It's about cultivating an excellence culture. The luxury brands have long known this. They understand these factors are critical for instilling desire in consumers and luring them into your brand's story. To develop desire, you must inspire consumers to fantasize and invite them on a spectacular adventure that only their imagination can inspire. Through enrichment, such as storytelling, luxury brands take us on a journey towards the destination of desire. That's when customers are willing to pay a higher price. They will willingly invest in an incredible experience that could last a lifetime. 6. Emotional Appeal Finally, luxury marketers emphasize their brand's emotional appeal, highlighting the sentiments of luxury and decadence that it invokes. This can be a very powerful technique to connect with people on an emotional level and build brand loyalty. And it can be especially effective when targeting premium travelers. The consumer attaches strong feelings such as love, nostalgia, empathy, pride, embarrassment, rage, and so on to the promoted product or lifestyle making the purchasing decision easier. This explains why luxury things that symbolize status symbols or are connected with pride or glamour are always purchased, even if the price surpasses the product's true value. For years, high-end labels such as Louis Vuitton, Tom Ford, and Christian Dior have used taglines and slogans to attract consumers' attention. So, this emotional appeal results in consumers buying their products simply because their name or logo appears the way we did an experiment in the beginning of the video. So, the bottom line? Luxury brands marketing is different than the ordinary brands, and people buy luxury products for a variety of reasons, nearly all of which are related to the strong emotions they associate with the purchasing of expensive material goods. So, at the end of the day, luxury depends on how a consumer's relationship with a luxury brand makes them feel. Are you obsessed with these luxury brands as well, or do you shop rationally? Tell us in the comment section below. We'll be happy to hear from you. And if you found this video interesting, then subscribe to our channel and hit the like button as well. Thank you for watching.